Today, Rowan is going on an adventure in Central Park. But more importantly, where will you go? Who will you go with? And what adventures will happen along the way? I'm Allison, the creator and co-author of Rowan Goes to the Beach and Rowan Goes to the Park. And in today's episode, I'm going to read you a short story called Rowan Goes to Central Park. And after I'm finished, you will create your own magical adventure using the downloadable worksheet and the magical mirror to illustrate your story. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss an adventure. Now let's go. Nana, Nana, Rosie is missing. Can you help me find her? I'm so sad. I can't go on magical adventures without my Rosie. Rowan jumped into the mirror and off they went. Standing on the beach where Nana lives, Nana asked, now where did you see Rosie last? She went sledding with us. Great, let's start there. And off to the hills of Austria, Rowan and Nana go back to the snow village where all the snowmen and women and children help them look for Rosie. Rosie! Rosie! They all yell. They check behind every tree and every rock and they sled to the bottom of the hill and no Rosie. But off in the distance, Rowan sees a woman drinking her hot chocolate out of an I heart NY mug and shouts, New York! Rowan and Nana say thank you and they close their eyes and they imagine New York City. And when they open their eyes again, they're on the subway. And Rowan sees the next stop is Central Park. Rowan says, Nana, I just know it. Rosie is lost somewhere in Central Park. They get off the subway and they walk to the park. Rowan sees a street musician and asks, have you seen my best friend Rosie? He shakes his head and they head to Turtle Pond in the middle of Central Park. She asks the turtles lined up on the log, have you seen Rosie? Each one of them shakes their head. And then a small turtle in the back says, maybe they took her to the zoo. Rowan thought, but of course, she's a teddy bear. They would have taken her to the zoo. Rowan and Nana run joyfully to the Central Park Zoo, where they find Rosie with all the other teddy bears in an exhibit. Rowan yells, that's Rosie. Rosie leapt with joy into Rowan's arms, and they all had lunch in the Central Park Zoo. Now it's your turn to write your story. You can make it funny or loving or magical or even a mystery, something to sort out. Just remember to make it your own. Download the worksheet and the mirror in the comments below. And if you'd like me to read your story in an upcoming episode, please send me your finished story and the illustrations as directed in the comments. Rowan goes anywhere the imagination goes. See you next Tuesday.